Well, hi there. So I've got kind of a weird filming setup right now it's in order to get everything in. So my apologies if it moves a little bit. I've currently got the tripod up on a office chair, so it may swivel. But it's been about a year since I did a planner collection video. My last one was in July 2015, and so I figured we'd kick off July 2016 with a planner collection video. I feel like I have fewer now, but now that I have them all laid out here, I know that while I've sold a lot, I've also bought some. So I'm going to go ahead and dive in and show you what I've got, what I'm using every fun for, and I hope this is a fun video for you. So I'll start off with what I'm actually using as my main planner right now. This is just a Look Derm 1917 notebook that I have my bullet journal in. I'm going to be linking below um, setup videos, relevant setup videos, if you want to get more in depth with any of these. This is my main planner, and it's what I use for my everyday to-dos. So next right here, this is a Confetti Dory. It is perch, and it's standard size. And this, honestly, is just kind of a holding, um, it's a fabric one, and it's just kind of a holding standard size Midori. So accessories, old journals, um, other notepads that I've used for different things. This is where all of my extra inserts, whether they're blank or partially used or filled journals, they're all in here. Sorry, I'm not sure if this tripod thing's going to work. We'll try it. So this is my most recent purchase. It's an Annika Hamby um, Appalachian Trail one. I bought it used uh, for just $15. I've always wanted one of these, um, and the price was right. So I don't currently have a use for it, uh, so it's sitting empty. But I plan on using it for hiking and just outdoor adventures, that sort of thing. It seems fitting. So that's this one. Next, I have another Annika. This was a custom Geek Dory. So it is Outlander themed. I had her do the standing stones and then one of my favorite Outlander quotes. I absolutely love this and this is actually my main journal. So I have a, an old journal insert here that I've just kept in there to look back. I have my current journal and then I also have an art journal um, just for playing around with um, quotes, that sort of thing. This is the Midori uh, lightweight paper insert that I have there. That's my journal. This is a Chic Sparrow uh, Maverick Golden Brown, and this is a stand regular size standard, and this is my homesteading notebook. Um, so it's got egg production, garden notes, uh, recipes and homesteading and herbs and uh, all sorts of stuff like that just to keep the track of things around the house as I try to be move more towards self-sufficiency. Here I have another Annika Hanby. This is a personal um, size. Her work hard, stay sweet, love God, repeat. This had been my main planner um, before I switched out to try bullet journaling. And so I still just have all of my inserts from when this was my main planner. In case I decided to switch back to it. A Chic Sparrow Mr. Darcy personal size in brown. Um, I believe, yes, this is the deluxe. And this was what I was using as my planner before I switched into the Annika Hamby for spring. And so this is currently sitting empty. But uh, I love this one for fall and winter. I just love this leather and how thick it is. Next, I have an Art Dor Artori um, from Crazy Organized on Etsy. And I'll also try and link the shops for most of these. This is for work. It is a personal size trifold. And uh, I will link my video on this below. But I have a calendar for all my work stuff, a notebook um, to use for work notes, and then a graph insert for to-dos for work. So that's how I have this all set up. I love the personal size for actual planning. Again, another Chic Sparrow. This is, I believe, the American Dream leather in London Fog, and I did roll this so it has a lot more texture. And this is just my main uh, field note size notebook. So I have vocabulary building, I have kind of a brain dump to do sort of thing, I have uh, long, more long term but not permanent to do's, uh, just various lists and things like that, a research journal. That's all in here, just 
whatever I use field notes for, the main ones go in here. This is another confetti dory. I believe this was called branched. I'm not positive. These are both of mine were much older fabric options. And this is where I have completed journaling prompts um, from the, I believe it was life crafted journaling prompts. I have some listers got a list from mostly from last year. And uh, then one year, I did, one month, I just did a picture every day. So this is kind of part journal. Um, part scrapbooking, just something to hold all of those to look back on. Here is my first Annika Hamby. This was a sea glass and it's field note size. And this is my Bible, Bible um, lectionary, not as much lectionary anymore, um, but I have Bible study notes. Um, I have, this also has prayers in there. This is sermon notes. Um, and then I have a, because I take this to church with me every Sunday, so I also have a blank field notes for my kids to draw in because they like to have a notebook as well when mommy has hers. Next, I have my Annika Hanby Damask. This is the Sherlock themed one. And this, I have several scout books in that have, um, little scout books. They did a short story collection, so it's a bunch of books. I also have just a blank notepad in here anytime I need to make notes, but mostly it is the scout book. Um, this is an on-canvy folder, um, just to have something to read or something to tell the uh, stories to tell the boys. Just a cute little thing to have on hand. I used to use this as my brain dump and journal, um, so I'm, since I've moved out of this for that, I just put the scout books in there that I already had. Here I have, this is a Buteo Bunker, um, and it's the Extra Small, the Moleskin Volant Extra Small. I have been using this for time tracking, um, but I stopped doing that about a year ago, and so it's really just been kind of sitting empty. I'm thinking about using this as a brain dump now because I like the small pages with that, but I haven't really decided how I'm going to use it. But it's too cute, and it was inexpensive, so I haven't tried to sell it. So those are all of my field notes right there, or not field notes, those are all of my traveler's notebooks and the various uses. So I'm going to get into my ring binders, several of which have been converted, but first let's look at my happy planner that I don't actually use for planning. I use this for um, acti planning activities with my kids. I try to do an intentional activity with them every day, just one-on-one, -on -one, really focused time. Um, so this is where I kind of plan those out as well as I use this for my lectionary. Um, again, I'm filming this a bit in advance because of travel, so that's why it's on this week. Um, but I do morning, afternoon, and evening. I use the daily lectionary, um, the RC lectionary, and this way I turn to the text three times a day and do my reflection and journaling on that. So that's how I'm using my happy planner. This is my A5 Malden that I took the rings out of, so it has been de-ringed, and this has my explorations notebook where I kind of scrapbook uh, some of the adventures that we go on. It really hasn't been updated in a while, which is really bad. It's been on my list to keep working on for a while. Um, I also have kind of a um, self growth, I guess, um, notebook, just things to reflections to work on. Um, places I'd like to be just with my sense of self um, and then another kind of encouragement sort of thing I have a humor section just for parts that make me laugh the other stuff's kind of private so I'm not going to show that um, and then my flow journals in the back here Next up is the uh, A5 Filofax Domino in the hot pink, which I embellished some with some uh, rub-on stickers. This is my home management notebook. So I have the um, first two are things to do with my kids' school. I have one for addresses and has my stamps and stuff like that in there as well. I have one for my Etsy shop. And then my last section is just miscellaneous stuff for area attractions mostly. So I have our gym schedule. I have some coupons for area attractions. This is the one binder that my husband is allowed to get into, um, and he knows where to look for schedules for the kids. So that is all contained right here. I figured he can't really hurt a domino, so that was the best choice for that. 
next I have my personal size Malden. These are ochre Maldens. And again, this one I've taken the rings out and converted it. This is mostly lists. Um, so I have various household type lists, um, travel checklists, cleaning things, uh, ideas to pack for the bento box, uh, my son's sight words and my younger son's, his first 200 words that he said and we were keeping track of that. So it's that sort of thing. I also have an old weekly insert because this used to be my main planner. I have one for goal setting and that I used to use in there and then I also have um, kind of my planner notebook. So this is all the planners that I have owned um, crossed out once I've sold them. And then other just ideas for organizing, setting up new planners, that sort of stuff. So this is my list. It stays downstairs in the kitchen. This, I have my, key, uh, my Kate Spade Wellesley in black. This is the 2015 edition. And this I'm using, or maybe it was the 2016. I don't remember. I, can't, I don't know. I got it last December, but it may have been for the 2016 release. I think it was, actually. Sorry. Anyway, I'm using this for grad school. I did have my uh, yellow Kiki K, but I decided I had too many personal size ring binders, and so I sold that one and moved all of my stuff in here. So I will start this in the fall, and I've gotten registered for my courses, so this is what I'm going to use for tasks, and I have a calendar here for to keep track of assignments uh, for at least the first semester and various notes pages for each of my classes. I have my uh, Filofax Union Jack personal size. This I still pretty much set up for when it was my main planner. Uh, I did a Sherlock theme with it with the British. So this currently just has planner inserts from when I was using. This is my main planner in case I decide to go back to rings, which before I never said I would, and then I did. So I'm hanging on to it. These next two kind of go together. This is the Filofax. Um, Tro uh, tropic and mahogany and this is the urban in slate and so this is set up as my book log and sorry again for the tripod it's kind of getting knocked so I have alphabetized all the books that I've read in the past couple of years again I'll link down below a more thorough setup sorry again for the wobbles and then this is my year tracker for like how many books I've read each year. So this is 2016, um, my two reads. Check out the setup video if you want to see a more thorough flip through. But these are both my book tracker journal things. This is a personal size, or not personal size, pocket size, file effects, molding, and ochre. And this just has finance tracking. Um, all for my personal uh, savings account, if I sell things, if I buy things, and then the second half has online shopping tracker, which I haven't been buying as much online, so it hasn't been used in a while. And finally, I have my two mini size Maldens, gray and ochre, and these are my kids' scrapbooks. Um, so I have one for each of my boys, and I have little charms with their initials on it. Um, so I have pictures starting from when they're little and then going up until present um, school pictures. I have their favorites that I do each year um, and then I have an A to Z that I keep track of various things with them. I also have cute things they say. Um, so just a little way to keep track of um, stuff with my boys. So that is it. That's my collection. They're almost all in use. Um, again, there are a couple that are sitting empty because they were my main planners and I'm no longer using them. But I do love them and so I haven't sold them because there's definitely a chance I will move back into them. I do think I've downsized some. I think net, they were down at least a couple. Um, so who knows where I will be next year, especially if I continue in the bullet journal that I may start to let go of some of the other empty ones. I hope this was fun to see what all I've had. Maybe it makes you feel better about your collection if you don't have as many, or you may want to show it to your spouses or partners to say, hey, I don't have as big of a problem. Look at this crazy girl. Um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you would like to see more. Sorry again about the wobbly tripod, and I will see you next time. Bye.